A Roanoke couple who landed in Israel as those attacks broke out are safely back home tonight. WDBJ7 first spoke with them while they were in Israel on Sunday and Isabella Ladon joins us in studio tonight after speaking with that couple earlier today at their church. Isabella. Logan Quigg and Annette Lawrence traveled to Israel to lead a tour of 34 people to see the holy sites in the country. As soon as they landed in Tel Aviv, plans quickly changed as Hamas began attacking and Israel declared war. They told me throughout their fear, their faith helped them get home. We just, we just felt a peace. We had thousands of people praying for us. The minute Quigg and Annette Lawrence landed in Tel Aviv, just 40 miles north of the Gaza Strip, they knew something was wrong. But as soon as we landed, everybody's phone blew up. Are you okay? Have you heard the news? They sheltered at their hotel while trying to find a way back to the United States. I wrote the U.S. Embassy, and I expected they were going to call me like any minute. We didn't hear anything from them for like a day and a half. Nothing. Got a form email. The conflict escalated quickly. The explosions were not like somebody fires a shotgun three houses down. It was big and powerful, and the windows shook, mm -hmm. and the building shook. Quigg says another couple traveling with them got four seats out of Tel Aviv on Monday. That was probably the scariest part, was driving in the dark 30 minutes to the airport. Are we going to get killed? Is the airport going to be obliterated? They traveled from Tel Aviv to Ethiopia to Dublin to Chicago to Roanoke. It took about 40 hours to get home. Where their kids and grandkids were waiting outside TSA. As the lead pastor at Church of the Holy Spirit, Quig reflects on how faith guided them through the fear. You came by it, you came fake it. It was there. Safe and back in their church, the Lawrences processed the aftermath of the attacks. The inconvenience that we had, it is nothing. It nothing. Is, it was like a mustard seed compared to what the people of Israel are, are going through. They now pray for peace as dozens had prayed for them. Pray for Israel. Pray for the whole Middle East. Pray for the innocent civilians who are Muslims who live in Palestine, who don't share the views of Hamas at all. That's, that's our message. The Lawrences also told me they paid nearly double for their airline tickets to get back home. Logan, they did also have evacuation insurance, so they are working to get some of their expenses refunded. However, most importantly, they are just thankful to be back home safe. Yeah, and that mustard seed, it becomes the largest of all garden plants. Isabella, thank you for that story tonight.